chosen Mr. Reginald Romero. In the event that you will not win the title tonight, what will you tell yourself? I would tell myself that I did great. I it took a long time for me to get here. It took a long time for me to build the self that I am presenting to you today and to build the confidence that I am presenting to you today. So if I were to not win the crown, I would, still, I would tell myself that I still did great and I did my very best. Thank you. Absolutely, girl. That's the attitude. Thank you, Ms. Payuman. All right, our question and answer portion is off to a row. We have our second candidate making our way to the microphone. Come on up, Miss Santa Ana. Hello, Miss Santa Ana. Please choose your judge. And you have chosen once again, Mr. Reginald Romero. What advice would you give your 10-year-old self about chasing her dreams? I would tell myself, my 10-year-old self, that dreams are just like seeds. Seeds that we need to nurture with hard work, determination, and patience. You must believe in yourself and be able to have faith. It is okay to make mistakes because fortune favors the bold. And the reason that I am standing here in front of you as your next Miss Manila 2024. Amen, sister. Great words. Thank you for that answer. Thank right. You. Next up, we have... Please make your way up, Miss Paco. Oh, the music gets me every time. Welcome. Please choose a name of our judges. And if you could open it for me. Thank you. Attorney Annette Gozon Valdez. My question for you is, if salary is not an issue, what would you do for a living and why? If salary was not an issue, I would do exactly what I'm doing right now. Actually, I've made a lot of sacrifices to be here in the Philippines. I formerly lived in Canada, but now I moved here to the Philippines to pursue my dreams, which is to be in the entertainment and pageantry industry. But not only that, but to go back to my Filipino roots and connect more with my, with my traditions and heritage. So if salary was not an issue, I would still be what I am doing right now because I believe in taking risks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Paco. All the way from Canada. Incredible. You have to go after those dreams. Absolutely. A determined queen. We love to hear it. All right. Next up, we have Miss Santa Cruz. Come on up. Welcome. All right, please choose an envelope. And if you could open it for me. Okay. You have chosen our reigning queen, Miss Chelsea Manalo. Hi. If you were given the opportunity to improve one thing in your community, what would it be and why? I would say that a lot of young women and girls in my community cannot maximize their potentials because of the lack of resources. So I would take initiative towards creating programs for, for them to hone whatever skills they have. Because by the end of the day, they have dreams and I have dreams. That's why I am here. If no one believed in me, if no one gave me the resources that I needed, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Power and purpose. Great answer. Thank, Thank you. you. Moving along to Miss Gapo. Please make your way towards center stage. I love this gown. It's gorgeous. All right. If you could pick an envelope with a judge's name. You have chosen our chairwoman of the board, Ms. Charo Santos. Among the many prominent women in our country, who do you think is a true woman of worth? You know, this may sound cliche, but my woman of worth is my mom. She's been through a lot and she's still resilient to 
to help us grow and give, bring us to school. And I think that she has taught it in so many ways. And I could, I could call my mom as a, as a woman of worth. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Gamble. All right, next up, please come forward, Ms. Sampalo. Welcome. Hello. Please choose an envelope. Sorry. You have chosen attorney Annette Gozon Valdez. As a Miss Manila 2024 candidate, what is Manila's best kept secret that you want to promote? Manila's best kept secret is, of course, the people. The people's stories and their lives. Everybody is working hard for their future, for their families, for their dreams. And it is something that we should share to the world because we are resilient, brave, and courageous. And that's why I'm standing here. As a Manilenia, I want to create a disability center for Manila. Thank you. A very powerful answer. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are more than halfway through our finalists. And up next is... Pandakan! Wow. Looking very Hello. radiant in green. Thank you so much. If you could pick an envelope, or well, I think it's the only one, sorry. It's just behind you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's the only one. <laughs> Miss Joy Marcelo. Hi, here's my question. Is social media bringing people together or causing separation? I think social media is bringing people together. Why? Because it is a medium, it is a tool. As social media paved its way to the world today, we are using it as a form of communication, as a form of interaction. Now, if we are knowledgeable enough to use this as a form of imposing information to be knowledgeable about our education, about ourselves, then we would create a more revolutionary and innovative nation that we could build in. Thank you so much. Rapid fire, I love that. Thank you so much. All right, we have our eighth contestant coming up. Please come forward, Miss San Andres. Looking lovely tonight. Welcome. Thank you. You have chosen attorney Annette Gozan Valdez. If you could invent a new holiday, what would it celebrate and why? If I could invent a new holiday, it would be the colors of Manila holiday. Because within the lines of the illustrations, between the streets of Manila, there's so much color, there's so much art, there's so much definition between those lines. And thank you. Thank Beautiful, you very so poetic. Much. Thank you. Makes me want to take a tour of the streets of Manila now, just yes. to see all the color that you've just described. Thank you so much. Up next, we have Miss Otis. Hello, looking beautiful in black. If you could pick an envelope for me. You have chosen Miss Chelsea Manalo. If you would be given the chance to travel back in time to any point in history, what modern item would you take with you and why? I would like to take Jose Rizal's no novel, which is Lo No Limitang Here. I believe that as a political science student, I have immersed myself in the social political issues that is happening right now. And in today's time, we all know that it has always been happening. The history repeats itself. And as Miss Manila, I would be an embodiment of fulfillment and hope for other people and be a catalyst for change and rather change the history, change the novel rather to a new, to a new chapter. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Love that question, love that answer. Right, we are at our 10th contestant. Please come forward, Miss Manugit. Welcome. If you could choose a judge. Thank you. Our chairwoman of the board, Ms. Charo Santos Concho. 
In today's world where true love becomes a rare find, would you rather be in a relationship or in a situationship, and why? Well, that's a very odd question. But I don't believe that we need to label relationship as situationship or relationship as long as we would be able to love each other, to be able to show kindness to each other, and be able to show love to each other. Because at the end of the day, it is not about labels, but about what you can give to each other and the understanding and comprehension it begets. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wise words for a healthy relationship, right? right? All right, our last two finalists. We have up next, Miss Espana. Good evening. Once more, our chairwoman of the board, Ms. Charo Santos Concho. Resourcefulness versus formal education became a hot topic among netizens. As a woman of worth, what do you think is more important? Diploma or discarte? I believe that discarte is the key to success, mainly because not only if you have a diploma, you are successful in origin. You need to know your worth. You need to know that you can do so much in the community, even without a diploma. And as a multifaceted leader that wants to serve the community, I will still do my best despite lack of education because what's important is you have the heart to serve the community and be of service to society. Thank you. Very well spoken. Oh. I love that. Congratulations. Well, we are down to our last finalist. Last but not least, please come up, Miss Dagupan Extension. Welcome. Oh, one envelope left. <laughs> Thank you. And it belongs to Miss Joy Marcelo. Hello. If you are to host a dinner party and invite one famous person, who would it be and why? Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting question. If I were to host a dinner party and to invite a very famous person, it would probably be Miss Pia Wurzbach. Because aside from you, Miss Catriona and Miss Arboni, I am very much inspired by how, by how, <laughs> by how inspiring Miss Pia Wurzbeck is. For me, she is the symbol of hope. She is a symbol of never giving up to, to be able to achieve your dreams. And I want to be able to meet her in person. Thank you.